If we fucking she paying a fee And please don't give me no bush weed You know my spliff them longer than loose leaf Grab a well out and I kick like Bruce Lee After she smoke then she give me her coochie Alright, see? Alright. So, first to the face of your device, so you don't know, say a cogency. For the cogency rocks channel. And today, we have, we're following the trend from the last video of that TikTok lady that they do that messed up stuff to her daughter. The cute murderer, well, cute murderer who gained a fan base on TikTok. Bro, I did always know, say, TikTok was not the place for me, you know, bro. I just know it, fam. I just did want something. It's just cement it in my brain, fam. So, you know what I'm saying? TikTok is just not even me. Not saying that I don't have TikTok. I have TikTok. Um, I don't remember what my name. I think I named Cogency on it. And I probably post, like, one clip from my reaction channel. It's not my app, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is my domain. This is where I thrive. You understand? So, you don't know. Let's get into it. 1.8k subs on the road to 2k. So if you're seeing this, please hit that subscribe button for me. If you don't hit it for me, hit the subscribe button for OG Bobby Brown, nigga. My pimp. No, not my pimp. It's my friend, but he's a pimp. I ain't pimps like what the fuck out of you niggas, but don't play. All right? Don't play. Like, jump in the comments. We can reply to all the comments. And let's see what type of crazy shit is going to come from this video. But you don't know. Cogency. All right, let's get into it. All right, so before this video starts, be sure to hit that like button, yeah. subscribe, and turn on all notifications so you can always be notified whenever I upload a video. All right, bro. You see? You see? You see? Because I, as a YouTuber, I understand the need. Let me tell you. Let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and like, and I'm going to go and subscribe, and I'm going to hit this and put all notifications. And you guys do the same for me, please. May I beg you no? I'm be Listen. I'm begging begging you put your loving in now baby you know what i'm saying like please bro for me lately youtube's been trying to send my channel back to the dungeons of irrelevance for whatever reason so to combat that hit that like button turn those notifications on grab some popcorn and enjoy hey i don't have any popcorn bro but i have a water and i have a rare nephew and as well all right if you're watching this and you don't want to like it at least dislike it then just give me some interactions, man. That's what I need, bro. Please. The video. Oh my God. I love this guy. TikTok will free him for sure. Hashtag with Cameron Heron. I love him. God will help you, Cameron Heron. We need justice for Cameron. For more justice, hashtag Cameron Heron. This is what I think. It was an accident. He did not wake up that day and say, I'm going to kill someone. Hashtag we demand Karen Heron's exit. Miss you, Karen Heron. A person is not obliged to stop the car for anyone except police, ambulance, and fire. If that person passes through an illegal place like the mother. Yeah, what? yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. You know, that totally justifies this guy in running over a 24 year old mother and her two year old baby because you're not supposed to stop for them if they're crossing a street illegally. Wow. Yikes. Now, for those of you who don't know what is going on here i know this is sort of a weird introduction to my video the man of which you just seen in that little fan page tiktok video is an 18 year old guy named cameron herring who back in 2018 killed a mother and her daughter in a street race against one of his friends in the wow. current year of 2021 he is now 21 himself and it is reported that at the time he was going at over 100 miles an hour and i remember when this happened it was all over the bumble club what wait first of all this edit is cool you know what i'm saying with the thing on the tv car though that's not original you know what i'm saying but driver going over 102 miles per hour they make sure for add the two before killing mother on bay shore nigga was in pain i wonder if he got bailed after he got arrested can you imagine he was 18 and now he's 21 so that's three years in the cell you know mother you don't even get sentenced yet bro that's what i'm saying dog when i'm out from from race against who Bro, race against what, blood fam? I'm too high to be racing, fam. I swear to God. News for about a week or so, and then it, you know, quickly faded away for another major news story. But the case has recently made a resurgence since this guy's trial is... Ooh, 24 years. Jesus Christ. And he's a Florida man. Bro, I was literally about to say that TikTok killer is about to take over from the Florida man title. And this guy... Not only is he a TikTok killer, 
He's a Florida man. Bro, this is amazing. We get TikTok killer and Florida man in one. Bro, who's this guy? Maury. Maury, I don't know how you find this video, bro, but you need to find some more. Okay, Maury? Find Maury. <laughs> it's over and done with, and the judge in this case has decided to charge him with 24 years in jail. And as you can imagine, all his fangirls, the one within his cult, yes, I'm saying cult because he does have a cult and I'm gonna get to that in a second, are mad about Cameron's 24 year jail sentence for killing a mother and her daughter. From within 24 years, all those dumb bitches will probably be like pregnant from a, a idiot or like probably dead or on some dumb shit. I don't give a fuck about them dumb bitches. In a dumbass street race. And why these fangirls- <laughs> Dumbass street race? So them dumbass bitches, nigga. Dumbass fangirls, nigga. Girls and some boys are defending him. Well, I'm gonna explain that very soon as well. But to first give you guys and gals a little bit of the details as to what happened on that day. On May 23rd in 2018, a mother by the name of Jessica Reisinger Robinolt and her daughter, one-year-old Lilia, were hit as the mother was crossing the street with her baby daughter in a stroller by a black Mustang going at over 100 miles an hour by an 18-year-old at the time named Cameron Heron. And according to reports, dog, even though the stroller was out, dog, oh my, what time of day was this, fam? Cause the news report looked like night, but this, um, what you call it there, did them tape off the thing another day? So you was going a hundred and odd miles per hour street racing in the day. All right, fam, cause I was like, fam, there's no way she was crossing the road at night when these niggas are street racing. So yeah, fam, this TikTok guy racing in the day. Over 100 miles and then he turned now from him need 30 years. Fuck the 24. Why you take off six? Add six. By an 18 year old at the time named Cameron Heron. And according to reports, prior to this unfortunate accident, the two friends, Cameron Heron and his friend John Barino, stopped at a traffic light on that morning. And as soon as the traffic light turned green, that's when they sped off. And reports also say that this deadly crash happened on Bayshore Boulevard in Tampa, Florida. At the time, his friend John Barino, who was actually 17 years old at the time, one year younger than Cameron, was driving in a gold Nissan, who then apparently swerved out of the way to avoid the mother and her daughter. But Cameron, who unfortunately could not react fast enough, swerved away from his friend's Nissan and drove directly into the mother and daughter. And you understand? So Cameron Goodly did it. I say, yo, bro, it's not even my fault. I was trying to swing away from my friend. Now you have 24 years in jail because he did want to drive fast. No, do you, no, I'm sure. You're sitting in your cell feeling like a dumb nigga, fam. Feeling stupid. While I'm here with a fucking umbrella, OG Bobby Brown and a Pikachu towel talking about your dumb ass. Nigga, you my age, nigga. You're literally my age, bro. 21. I drive fast too, bro. But I don't, I don't race my friends. Especially not in the middle of the day when people still are across the road. If I race my friend, bro, I'm racing my friend in the middle of the night, fam. On a dark, not dark, on a back road where we're not going to get bothered, fam. You understand? Nah, bro. Can't even feel sorry for you. Dumbass nigga. And you know what's crazy is the fact that he had this coming because reports indicate that the assistant state attorney for Florida presented evidence in the court case for this guy. And the evidence that he submitted indicated that days before the crash that took the lives of the mother and daughter, he was actually speeding and we assumed that he was racing someone else at the time. But during this race, he was topping out at 162 miles an hour, about 60 miles more faster than the morning of the crash. You understand 162 miles per hour? Bro, just got turned. What's that name? What's that F1 guy called Lewis Hamilton? Bro, just go and be a fucking Lewis Hamilton, bro. Now look at you, 24 years. When you come out of jail, you not even have a choice of what you want to do with your life. You have to go get a, 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 a 9 to 5 or something, bro. You understand? Imagine topping out at 162 and you go street race. Nigga could have been Lewis Hamilton, bro, but like a white version. Who's any white race car drivers? Let me know. I don't know any. So clearly this guy at the time was incredibly reckless. Like, I don't know how you can think it would be wise to race at 162 miles an hour off a racetrack on public roads where 
other people are driving. But you see, the problem is a lot of these teenagers who are new to driving are incredibly reckless and they don't understand the gravity of their actions, which leads to consequences like this. It's actually pretty sad how frequently this keeps happening. But now that I've got that out of the way, I want to talk about <laughs> the fangirls who, for some reason, are defending this guy because, well, as you can imagine, <laughs> they find him cute. Fam, who, why are these girls crying, bro? I know they're crying because there's like some famous nigga on the stage, fam, but like, I can never understand shit like this, bro. Some shit that females do, I just never get it, bro. I'll never get it. Defending this guy because, well, as you can imagine, they find him cute. Hey, I hope one day the girls cry for me like that, you know what I'm saying? Cry for Super Saiyan tricks like that. Hey, I don't deserve girls to cry over me, bro. Look at me, bro. I ain't drippy. I ain't swaggy. Hey, don't tell, hey man, stop capping, man. Y'all know that I'm swaggy, bro. Stop. stop According capping. to his mom, support for her son, meaning fan mail, began with letters and emails after his sentencing in April, and they gave her great comfort. But she quickly realized that this wasn't any regular support type mail for her son, but something else entirely different from a specific group of people who are obsessed with him. She, in an interview, told the Tampa Bay Times that some people seem to have an unhealthy obsession with my son, sending him letters and calling her in the middle of the night to talk about him. But Cameron's mother went on to elaborate what these cult-like fangirls are actually doing to her and the family. She said that they're stalking the accounts of family friends and classmates and prom dates, stealing old photos that they've used in their posts. They've sent messages to Cameron's fiance, who interestingly enough, began dating him after the accident. Like yeah, after he killed that mother and child, I, I some girls are weird like that, but apparently- Bro, ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. And it, bro, imagine if I was that girl's father and I find out that your boyfriend, you, First of all, you started talking to your boyfriend after the crash? Hell no. Hell no. You're getting grounded for a week. I'm taking all the furniture out of your room and you're sleeping on the floor. I don't give a fuck, blood. Apparently, these other fangirls in the cult of obsession with him were messaging his fiance, you know, being all cute and polite at first, but quickly turned into dangerous attacks. They decided to hack into her account and God knows what kind of personal information they got on her. I mean, she better watch her back because you already know how jealous some fangirls can be. <laughs> and the mother even went on to explain that these people in this cult of Cameron <laughs> even went on to create fake accounts of the family members pretending to be related to Cameron. I mean, it's pretty bizarre stuff. But for starters, there was this post made recently by this girl named Sally Cooper. And yes, I'm exposing her Starters. Wait, 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 that's him? They cut all his hair off? Good, they should cut his head off. There was this post made recently by this girl named Sally Cooper. And yes, I'm exposing her page for her stupidity. She posted, he didn't do it in purpose. I think she meant on with the <laughs> hashtag justice for Cameron Heron. And she decided to tag all kinds of news organizations in her posts at Tampa Bay, Fox 13 News, and a whole bunch of other news publishers. Like, I assume she's trying to- Why is she tagging Governor Ron DeSantis, bro? Like, the nigga ain't got nothing to do with this, bro. <laughs> he can't get Cameron out of jail, bro. Even if the sanctuary saw that, he still can't get him out of jail, bro. To Tampa Bay, Fox 13 News, and a whole bunch of other news publishers. Like, I assume she's trying to get the attention of them to try and create some kind of weird ass petition to free this man there was this other post made by this girl I, I don't know what kind of twitter name that is jki yeah i'm not gonna read that but she said we won't give up until you get out of prison cameron hashtag cameron heron and you know i mean uh, you can wait for a long time he's probably gonna be like 42 by the time he gets out so good luck yeah. but oh wait i'm hey, just getting started hey fam that's probably a really good um what you call that prediction of what he's gonna look like for a long time he's probably gonna be like 42 by the time he gets out so good luck hey that's that look pretty accurate still yeah man imagine bro Cause, let me tell you guys if you didn't know i have an uncle and from my bond that my uncle's been in jail he's been in jail since that you know what i'm saying but when i turned 15 i saw him come out of jail so from a young age i've been knew that like all right so this is what niggas look like when they go jail he went to jail, what, 18, 19, 20? And nigga came, he had, he had 30 years, bro. Know what I'm saying? So I see firsthand what happens when you get 24 years, 30 years, 20, 19 years. You know what I'm saying? I see the other side of this fam, and I see niggas come out with nothing. 20 odd years, you know, bro. So many things have happened. So many things have upgraded and changed. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, uh-uh, man. I'm not trying to get locked in no cages, bro. I'm staying inside. Matter of fact, I lock myself inside my house so that way the feds don't have to lock me in a cage. How about that? But oh wait, I'm just getting started because it, it gets even worse. What? Because as you can see here on TikTok, I typed in Cameron Heron into the search bar and guess what popped up? What? A dedicated slot on TikTok. I don't even know why they have a dedicated slot on TikTok for killers, but TikTok is a weird... Because it's 2.2 billion views, bro. That's why. Because TikTok is weird. I told y'all, bro, TikTok ain't the place for me and it will never be, fam. And if any TikTokers get upset over that, it don't matter, bro. Because you can't do anything to me lot on tiktok i don't even know why they have a dedicated slot on tiktok for killers but tiktok is a weird place as we all know but as you can see the topic of cameron heron has 2.2 billion views worldwide for this guy and am i shocked am i surprised no i'm not but it's it's a little disappointing it says discover short videos related to cameron heron on tiktok watch popular content from the following creators and these are the fan pages i assume ran by fangirls who make the top content related to Cameron Heron and it's honestly it's 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 disgusting. disgusting the TikTok goes on to say that he accidentally killed a mother and a daughter and was sentenced to 24 years in prison but true Islam his father forgives the man who killed his son I assume she's trying to make the case that he should be forgiven because you know other people have forgiven the killers of their children before like okay that's that's some weird logic right there but you know what I'm saying like just because you know what I'm saying? I supposed to forget, bro. If I was that husband, whoo, bro. I told y'all already, bro. Any nigga that harms anybody in my family, fam. You know what I'm saying? Ballied up, fam. Let's get that dinger. You know what I'm saying? Like, fam. All right, bro. I ain't gonna say too much, but you know. Even the killers of their children before, like, okay, that's that's some weird logic right there. But we have this other one from this person named Bada Risker, and they say chances should be given, and he deserves it. She can't possibly be serious. And oh, we even got this one fangirl video featuring. Hey, all right. So the one on the right, I'm so sad that I watched it on my own because that story, that girl that stabbed their mom 79 times. I should have reacted to that on the channel because she is fucked in the head, fam. But the one below, I don't know who that one is. So, if you guys want me to do that, help me find it and I'll do it, you know what I'm saying? But these TikTok killers, man, look at them. I told you, bro, TikTok killer is going to be the new Florida man. I promise. Our beloved Isabella Guzman, who murdered her mom and stabbed her, what, like 141 times? Yes. You guys remember that video? Yeah, I suggest you check it out now. See, see, you heard your side, fam. It's actually 100 and odd, but as you see, I remember the um the news report was at 79. So you see, I, know, I did watch it. Um, and stabbed her, what, like 141 times? You guys remember that video? Yeah, I suggest you check it out now after this one. But as you can see here, this person, I can't even pronounce their TikTok name, is over here glorifying this guy, Isabella Guzman, and another chick. I don't know who she is, but I assume she did some crazy stuff. Like, I don't know why and where this trend of romanticizing and fetishizing literal killers came from. But, I mean, it, it, it's just getting out. Bro, it came from the black community, bro. I'm telling you, fam. Me, I don't give a fuck if black people don't fuck with me after I said this and that. We're fucked up, fam. We were the ones that came out. At, not, not saying like we're the only ones, you know what I'm saying? Because the Latinos, they have their, you know what I'm saying, those mafias and those people they're more savage than us, black people. You understand? But when it terms, comes on to glamorizing and making it seem cool to be a killer, bro, you know what I'm saying? That was shit that was in our movies and our, you know what I'm saying? In our music and, yeah, so maybe I'll just say it's media. I'll just say media cause the, glor the glorification and fetish, fet blah, blah, blah. you know what I mean, bro. Fuck. Got a hand at this point. We got this one that says everyone hates him, but only his mother knows how her son feels. Do you think he deserves 24 years in prison? Yes. Yes, I, I do. Yes. And this person said, I, I think he deserves five years. It, it was an accident with 1,500 upvotes for the comments. <sighs> bro, ain't no way a life is lost because of this. Two lives. Not bro, you can't even count that baby life as a life because you don't even start for living a life yet, fam. So you can even, bro, that even, that's even more than a life. Because her life don't even start yet. So you have a life that's been taken and something worth more than a life that's been taken. And you only, want, you only expect to get five years? Bro, if that, nah, fam. Because if that's the case, let me not even say that. But if that's the case, somebody would have run over your mother too. That's just it.
humanity is reaching an all-time low. I'm telling you. No, it's not, bro. Trust me. Humanity, we're not at an all-time low. I watched that video on Vikings yesterday. Trust me. All the savage shit that's going on now, we can't compare to the Vikings, them. Trust me. You know, obviously, I'm not going to have time to sift through all of these videos. But as I scroll down on this page, we're dedicated to Cameron Heron with, you know, over 2 billion views worldwide. I'm, I'm still shocked by me saying that. It's it just, you can see the hearts, the emojis, the everyone feeling sorry for him. Like, take a look at this. Like, are, are we... Are we serious here? And then you got this girl in the comment section. <laughs> Her name is Charlie D'Amelio. I'm not even surprised. She says, love them with that little frowny puppy dog guy emoji. Another person. You have to understand, a lot of these people on the internet are real life weirdos, bro. You know how I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna lock myself inside because I don't want to get chef. They're not doing that, fam. They're staying inside because they're just weird ass motherfuckers, fam. You know what I'm saying? So they do shit like this, bro. They don't weird ass niggas, man and says justice for Cameron Aaron. Someone else said exactly. He didn't plan to kill an innocent baby or her mom. It's a mistake. Ay, 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 these people. They, like, these are actually, these aren't bots, by the way. These are actual human beings. <laughs> these people are actually alive right now, breathing oxygen, sadly, wasting it for that matter. Yes, sadly, they are still alive. You know what I'm saying? Sadly that we had, sad that we have people like this on the planet. But you know, I guess survival of the fittest still. They won't be here forever. And weirdly enough, you know, there seems to be some kind of obsession with this guy over in the Middle East, specifically in Egypt, as I've recently found out that, how do I put this lately? Apparently his surge to fame started over there in the Middle East, you know, in these Islamic countries. And as I scroll down these comments, you guys pretty much understand the deal. Like, even though I don't even understand what this comment says right here, it's in Arabic, I suppose. I'm willing to bet that if I translate this thing right now, it's going to say something good about Cameron, free him, hashtag, let him out, or he's so cute. Let me translate it right now and see what happens. Translate it right now, bro. We are all with Cameron Heron. Why am I not surprised? Wow. In any case, that's where I'm going to end this video. Listen, for some reason, YouTube has been suppressing my videos. I don't know why. I, I, I think they're really trying to send me back to the dungeons of irrelevance. So if you want... It's, it's because of the content that you do, bro. YouTube wants you to come online and exploit your kids, fam. You understand? YouTube don't want you to come on here letting us know the fucked up shit going on in the world, fam. You understand? They want you to be like the Ace family, blood. You understand? But we already know how... Well, not already. If you don't know how fucked up the Ace family is, go check that out on your own time. But I ain't reacting to them niggas on my channel. But let me hear one more, officer. If you want to save me from that pain, please like the video as it does help boost the video into the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and hit that bell notification and turn on all notifications so you can always know whenever I upload a video. You it's incredibly easy and it's free. I believe in you guys. I know you can do it. With that being said, I'm going to be uploading a new video within the next two days. So be on the lookout for that. And until next time, stay safe out there. Yeah, the say, I believe in you guys. You can do it. Yeah, I believe in you too, man. Coach and Syrax channel, man. I believe in you guys over here, man. Our world, our family. You understand? Trigonometry, Super Saiyan Triggs, man. Come on, man. We can do this, bro. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, at least tell me in the comments why you're not subscribed. At least then I can know. This guy might say, all right, subscribe because you're a dickhead. I'll be like, all right, fam. If that's how you feel, then you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you see me, but subscribe, hit that like button, jump in the comments, let's talk about this, let's talk about, you know, bro, this is mad. When you're quote-unquote cute, you can't get away with too much fam in this world, and TikTok just make it worse fam, literally bro. The reason why I never got into TikTok because when TikTok blew up and the type of people that were famous on TikTok, it was just girls like just dancing and shaking them ass and them breasts bro. I don't find, like, I don't find that shit, like, entertaining for more than 30 seconds. You understand? So I watch it for 30 seconds, and then I don't want to see it again for the rest of the day. You understand? Or else I'm going to get horny, and then go back my fist, and then once I beat my meat, and I ain't horny no more, I don't want to see your titties or your ass, bitch. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? So any, either way, it's still not for me. That's why I never, uh, TikTok ain't for me, bro. You know what I'm saying? But anyway... Obviously, TikTok ain't for these motherfuckers either, bro. Murderers and shit and... Yeah, in good... 24 years, perfect. 
Should I give him 30? Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Road to 2K. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And I'm saying, if you don't hit it for me, hit it for OG Bobby Brown, nigga. And if you don't, OG Bobby Brown. Go smack the shit out of you, nigga. Go smack the shit out of you. All right? So it's like the video. All right? Don't know. Comment, subscribe. Go join Santa Go join Santa's channel. I right, this motherfucker, man. Peace. On the phone, just quick believe me, girl. On the phone, just don't deceive me, girl. Link on the tool and come for reach me, yeah, girl. Bring the bring boost to me, yeah, girl. Get real.